In this video we will see how to get cinnamic acid by Perkin reaction. This synthesis involves laboratory operations of reflux, steam distillation, filtration, crystallization and melting point. Cinnamic acid is used in the manufacture of drugs, condiments and perfumes. It exists in ester form in nature. Its ethyl ester is one of the essential oil components of cinnamon. In the laboratory, cinnamic acid is obtained by the Perkin reaction. The Perkin reaction is an aldolic condensation between benzaldehyde and acetic anhydride in the presence of sodium acetate or potassium. To obtain cinnamic acid mix in a 250 ml flask with two necks. 21 grams of benzaldehyde. Thirty grams of acetic anhydride. We put a thermometer in the flask. and 14 grams of anhydrous sodium acetate. Put a reflux condenser protected from moisture by a calcium chloride tube. Heat to reflux with an oil bath at 160 degrees for 1 hour. Continue heating for 3 hours between 170 to 180 degrees. After heating 3 hours, allow to cool and when the temperature is between 80 and 100 degrees the contents of the flask is poured over 100 milliliters of cold water in a 1000 milliliters beaker. We wash the reaction flask with water to drag all the contents. Neutralize with saturated sodium carbonate solution at pH from 8 to 10. When neutralized, an oil floating layer is observed. That's the unreacted benzaldehyde. We take benzaldehyde out through steam distillation. We distill until we have no oil in the condenser. Discard the distilled. Let the contents of the flask cool and filter to remove the resin compounds. The filtrate is acidified at pH 2 by concentrated hydrochloroacid. Add the acid slowly. Many foam is produced by the carbon dioxide which is released. The solid is collected by suction. For purification, crystallize with a solution of 75 ml of water and 25 ml of hot ethanol. Let cool and refrigerate for 12 hours to make sure the product crystallizes as much as possible. Collect the product by suction and dry in an oven at 80 degrees. Determine the melting point.
the melting point of the pure material must be near 133 degrees. 11 grams of crystals in the form of flakes, white and brilliant, with an odor similar to benzoic acid have been obtained. The yield has been 38 percent. 